Alright, Cancer, you're already coming at me with that fucking confusing ass energy. <laughs> like, I started your reading and then I was like, none of this makes sense. So, I'm gonna do it a little different. I'm gonna use different decks. I'm gonna try to put it in a way that, like, makes sense. Um, because I just. I was like, I'm getting such, like, conflicting messages here that just, maybe that's it. Maybe that's part of your energy that you feel conflicted, right? Um, like, that song kind of comes to me, should I stay or should I go? You know, it's like, this energy of just feeling, um, conflicted on the inside, like, I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. So we have the gift. You're a gifted individual. Uh, could be spiritually, could be talent-wise, could be um, a number of things. You're gifted in some way, though. And then with give and take, it's like kind of sitting here saying, like, make sure that there's a re re reciprocity. <laughs> Sorry, I know words. <laughs> make sure there's reciprocity um, in whatever uh, connections, relationships you have, right? Um, yes, and yes, I know my nails are jacked, don't look at them. Um, <laughs> all right, we're gonna use this deck. Um, all right, so yeah, um, <clears throat> and this is my soft deck by Aleister Crowley. I'm a big fan, I got the myth. He's one of like the living legends of alchemists, so it's kind of like. I, as soon as I saw the deck, I was like, I need that deck. <laughs> um, shit, if Isaac Newton were to fucking make a deck, <laughs> that would have been sick. Um, he's another great alchemist. And yet, he's known for physics. Even though he wrote more books on alchemy than he ever did on physics. It's kind of funny. But, um, you know... I, I I still commemorate the man for who he was, not who the world saw him as. Um, <clears throat> and you guys are probably like, Isaac Newton, what a nerd. <laughs> but honestly though, like, what a legend. Um, anyway, uh, let's see, Cancer's Energy. Okay, so the energy we have you in right now is Prince of Cups in reverse, um, which means that you're kind of like withholding emotionally. Um, it's kind of like you're like, I get that feeling of just like bottling up feelings. <laughs> like, um, here, let me try to move this a little. That helped. I'm trying to get rid of that glare. It's all working. Okay. Um, no. But but oh well, you see me, okay? That's what matters. Um, so yeah, the Prince of Cups in reverse. Um, kind of like withholding emotions, bottling up emotions. This is kind of like being in the um because cancers are a water sign too. So it's kind of like uh feeling an imbalance of your own nature, you know, because you're all about water. <laughs> um, very interesting. And then we have the Knight of Wands in reverse, and that's kind of like, 
if you feel like you need to get your strength back. Um, you might have been feeling a little bit defeated lately, a little guarded. I see that a lot of guarded energy. Um, I don't know, maybe like relationships have just kind of fucking drained you a little bit. And you're just kind of like at this energy where you're like, what the fuck next, right? You're just, yeah, I see you here. Okay. Um, just feeling a little drained, a little guarded. Um, and it's like just this emotional, like, drain that I'm really feeling. Um, let's see. And don't let gender be a thing. You could be a woman in this Prince of Cups and reverse energy. It's just the energy of the card. It's like, um, gender ain't a thing in tarot. <laughs> it's not the real. Um, it's like, uh, it's an energy, right? Uh, we all have divine feminine and masculine within us. And it's really just, um, in this energy of the Prince of Cups in reverse, it's really saying that you're, um, you're more in that, um, divine masculine, which I, I catch myself oftentimes in my divine masculine as well. So it's not, it doesn't mean that you're masculine or, you know, like I'm a very feminine person. Um, I just, I also, you know, I, I understand the balance within myself. I, I go back and forth. Um, I don't know. I get to sit here and explain it too long. I, I feel like you can, um, so, yeah. Anyway, so let's clarify. Prince of Cups in reverse. Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, so it's like there was like a feeling of like conflict or um, maybe even competition. And you're just kind of like, fuck this. <laughs> um, yeah, three of wands in reverse. It, it almost gives me that feeling of like... Okay, I, okay. I don't know how to put this without sounding... It's like maybe you had two choices um, between uh, potential partners or, um, or jobs or something um, or energies, whatever. Um, and cause I get that third party energy, right? And it's kind of like, um, <clears throat> whatever the case is, it's like you stopped wanting to juggle or you stopped feeling that like, you were just kind of like fed up with the whole situation and you were like, this is dumb, <laughs> whatever, goodbye. <laughs> you know, um, it's kind of the energy I'm getting here with all these wands in reverse too. Um, there's a possibility, uh, that you were dealing with a fire sign and you let them go. Um, honestly, I feel like cancers do well with earth signs or like Scorpios. <laughs> um, I feel like fire and water sometimes trying to blend the two is really fucking hard. I mean, it happens. It works sometimes. Uh. It's just not always, it, it depends on you, okay? It's like a person-to-person -person type of, like, thing. Um, my brother makes it work. He's a Pisces. He's with the Sagittarius. Um, and they're awesome. They, they make it work. Um, because it's like they, uh, they bask in the differences of each other. Um, Whereas, you know, that doesn't always happen. Sometimes it's like you feel put out by, um, or like you feel like the fire is just trying to burn you up a little bit and they feel put out because, you know, they're like, oh, you're dampening my flame. And, you know, it's like, it's a whole like emotional roller coaster. Um, so Nine of Wands in reverse, let's clarify that. Nine of Pentacles, yeah, you're focused on your hustle right now. You're just like, fuck all, fuck all this emotional shit. 
fuck all that <laughs> being in your feeling shit you're just like you're over it um i like that that's really good energy um I respect that a lot, actually. It's like, you know, when when a situation isn't serving, then why even fucking bother, right? All right. So let's see if we have any advice cards for you right now. Um, anything to help you along your path. Okay. Yeah, we've got a Five of Swords, um, which kind of uh, means that you feel a little defeated by your situation, um, which would fucking totally make sense. It's like emotionally you're just drained, right? You're you're just like over whatever whatever shitty situation there was. You're just kind of over it. Yeah, with the two of wands in reverse, it's like you're no longer at a crossroads. You're like, you're just like, I'm not going to wait for shit to get better anymore. It's just, it either is or it isn't. <laughs> like, it, you know, um, four of swords in reverse is kind of like, yeah, you're just, there might be like conflict, like, because it's the truce card in reverse. So it's like you don't have a truce with somebody. It's like, um, it's kind of like, it reminds me of that, uh, that song, Hallelujah, where he's like <clears throat> singing, um, all I ever learned of love was how to shoot somebody how who outdrew you. Um, and, or who outdrew me, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so... Basically, um, yeah, <laughs> I just feel that, that you are kind of in that energy, right, of just, you feel like love has been a fucking battlefield, and that's why you're focused on your hustle, because you're like, with this fortune in reverse, it's like you felt like there was just no change in your situation, right? <clears throat> Also, on the flip-flop, it's saying don't change your direction, right? Because right now you're focused on your hustle. Right now you're focused on the important aspects of life. It's like as soon as you let go of all that other shit and you give yourself a chance to really heal and process what the fuck just happened, um, then, then you start bouncing forward and then you start, you know, then you could maybe get in your feels again. I just don't feel like that's the energy of where you're at right now. I feel like right now you're just like, I just want to make money. I want a cool house. I want a cool car. And I don't want to deal with shit. <laughs> you know? uh, that's the energy I see you in. Um, and honestly, I fucking respect that. Um, I, I really don't feel like there's much else to really um, include in this. Because it, it seems pretty straightforward. Um... I mean, hit me up if you want me to dive deeper into your situation. If you want a personal reading, I got you. Um, but yeah, it's just this whole, um, this whole situation. It seems like you're handling it really well. The divine is handling it really well. There's, you know, you're just at the end of the bullshit. You ain't taking shit and you're in gain mode. You're in hustle mode. You're in kingpin mode, right? You're like... Fuck emotions. I'm getting my money, honey. <laughs> like, uh, I respect that. Um, as an Aquarius, I feel that, <laughs> you know. Um, but anyway, um, that's pretty much what I have for you. Namaste. I love you all, and I will see you on the next one.